This is my response to Meister Lanzhea's video of the bilingual tag. So without further ado, I'll just answer the 16 questions. Number one, what languages do you speak? I speak German and English. Would you say that you are fluent in both? Yes, English obviously is my first language, and so yes, I can speak that one fluently. I've been doing so for quite some time now. And German, I still have some grammatical errors every once in a while whenever I speak, but uh, for the most part, yeah, I would say that I speak them both fluently. Did you grow up speaking both languages? No. I took my first German class whenever I was a sophomore in high school, and took three years in high school, and then I took a total of four more years in college, and then I took a month-long time over in Berlin and studied at Humboldt University there. Which language do you prefer and why? I don't think you can really have a more favored language. I think that you can use each in their individual situations. I think as far as worldwide usage goes, English is going to be the number one for the fact that most people speak it, so it's kind of more universally useful. However, German does have its reasons for being used, mostly for international business and that kind of thing. Germany being one of the more powerful economic powers in Europe right now. So I would say that's definitely handy. So to say that I prefer one over the other is kind of disingenuous. I think they both have their strengths and their weaknesses. Which language do you speak the most? I speak English the most because if I spoke German the entire time, one, my students would be confused. Two, my peers and pretty much everybody around me would be confused. So I pretty much always speak English. That being said, I do speak German to my daughter. I haven't spoken any English to her since she was two months old. I'm trying to raise her as a bilingual child because that will help her out in the long run. What is your favorite word in your second language? It's kind of a toss up actually. I use Schmetterling quite a bit with example sentences and that kind of thing. Schmetterling just means butterfly in English and I just like it because it sounds fun. Also, it's used a lot whenever people are making fun of the German language. So, for instance, the new video that came out a while back of how German sounds compared to other languages, there's that. The Schmetterling! Obviously, that's a little bit disingenuous towards the German language, as Schmetterling can sound quite nicely without having all that yelling and stuff. Tim Allen actually did the same type of thing whenever he was in stand-up still, and it was kind of funny then, so I use Schmetterling quite a bit. But I also like the word Schadenfreude which doesn't really translate in English. They still use the word Schadenfreude in English, but the word actually is kind of like taking pleasure in other people's pain. So, for instance, I live in Illinois, so we've had a couple of different governors go to jail for criminal activity, and I just kind of think it's hilarious. Not necessarily because our state is corrupt and we have a lot of governmental issues, but I think it's funny because they're finally getting their just desserts. So that's Schadenfreude. Translation of your favorite word in your first language. Uh, I already did that, so... When do you most often use your second language? I teach German for a living, so I use it quite a bit on a daily basis, Monday through Friday whenever I'm teaching classes. I also use it in my YouTube channel, I try and do that quite a bit. And my daughter, I already mentioned, I speak nothing but German to her. So those are the main ways that I use it. I do use it to read news and that kind of thing because I think it's a little bit important to see the other perspective of things, not just to see the American version of the news. Sometimes it's nice to have a European perspective and so I can read the German articles this way. Do you prefer watching movies dubbed in your first language or your second language? So if I'm watching a German movie, obviously I watch it in German. If I watch an English movie, I watch a movie in English. Um, but if I'm watching like Korean, for instance, uh, if I have the choice of German or English, I would choose English. Dubbed movies, gotta be in English, but if I have the opportunity to watch it in its native tongue, I'll watch a German movie in German, I'll watch an English movie in English. Literally translate your favorite expression or phrase from your second language into your first. Um, favorite expression? Hmm, not real sure that I have a favorite expression. So, yeah. If somebody thinks that I do, put it in the comments below maybe. I don't know. I don't really know what I could use for that, so I'll go on to the next one. Do you code switch? Switch from one language to another in the middle of a sentence or after the sentence? Yes. I do this sometimes for simplicity's sake so that I don't have to look up a word. A lot of the time I can actually get away with it because the German word is actually an English word anyway. But yeah, I do do it. Usually what happens is I'll get about halfway through a sentence and then I get, can't really remember the German word for it. So I'll guess and say something that sounds Germanic but is actually an English word. And then I'll look it up later just to make sure that I actually get the right word the next time that I need it. But yeah, I do do it. I also do the same problem in English, weirdly enough, even though it's my native language. I'll speak English for a while. Like, for instance, whenever I'm talking about geography, I actually didn't really do... a whole lot of geography in English, so whenever I do geography in my German classes, I always have trouble coming up with like the word for Baltic Sea, for instance. I always remember them as the Nordsee and the Ostsee, and I'm like, I don't remember what we actually call it in English, so Nordsee, Ostsee, yay! Did being bilingual make school harder or easier for you? I was not really bilingual in school, and so I don't think that really applies here. I took three years in high school and doesn't really apply as being bilingual at that point. As far as at the university level, it just made it easier to make friends with people who are German majors or just taking German for fun. 
but not necessarily easier or harder in that instance. Ask me again here in about 18 years when my daughter's old enough to answer that question. What advice would you give to someone who wants to be bilingual? Try something different. So don't just always do the same thing. Don't watch my channel only or Meister Lane's Heo's channel only or Blitztag's channel only. Watch a variety of different things and listen to some German music and find some kind of a passion that you have in the language, whether it be the culture or the music or the food or whatever. Find something that you're interested in and then use that to learn the language. So don't just do one thing or another, but find something that interests you enough to make you passionate about it and your passion will then lead you to greater success in learning the foreign language. How does being bilingual benefit you nowadays? Well, I'm employed. So that's kind of helpful. I teach German for a living at a high school, and that's kind of the only thing that I do. Do you have more friends that speak your first language or your second language? I live in the U.S., and as the old joke goes, what do you call a person who speaks two languages? They're bilingual. If you speak three languages, you're tri trilingual. And if you only speak one language, you're an American. That joke kind of runs true, especially here in the Midwest, where pretty much everybody speaks English. And if they do speak a second language, it's going to be Spanish. So I know way more people that speak English than I do German. What language would you like to take up next? I took two semesters of Spanish in college, took a little bit of an online course in French. I kind of dabbled in both languages. I would actually like to learn French first and then learn Spanish. Not really any good reason behind it, but it just sounds fun. Not because I like romance languages or that I like France or the culture or anything, but it just sounds like a fun language. I just kind of want to, I guess. I don't know. It's kind of a weird thing, but yeah, so that would be the next one would be French and then probably Spanish after that. So if you're finished with this video, then uh, I guess you can answer the questions for yourself in the comments below or in your own video and just put a link in the comments because now Google Plus will allow you to do that. Hooray, Google Plus! Go ahead and hate me for that in the comments if you want. Bye now!